going to take just a minute to talk a little bit about the ministry that I'm here. But I just want to welcome you all. I want to welcome, uh, and I'll talk about him a little bit later, but the, the young man that was up here singing so beautifully, <laughs> Minister Jimmy, his ministry is Prayer Warriors. And he's the one that has the, the uh, prayer warrior on, on Skype where you can go in and pray and he'll pray for you. Uh, he is a missionary preparing to go to Guyana in the next few weeks, not long from now. Uh, he will be going to Guyana on a mission trip. And we're so glad that he's a, a part of Training the Rain Ministries. God is blessed in the house. Amen. And his lovely wife is my nurse. She's my nurse, uh, Sister Nancy. She takes care of me and tells me what not to do and what to do. And I just love that about her. Amen. And then we have, um, let's see. Soul Harvest Ministry, they go that way. Stand up, Pastor. And I can see how pretty you are. This is Pastor Christine. Her ministry is in Concord. Uh, right now, they're going to be being with us in now until we can get uh, situated for the summer. But she is uh, from Pastor of Soul Harvest Ministries in Concord. And let's see, who has it? Who have it besides Pastor Griff? Amen. Minister Diana, you figured out she's a minister, but she's right here <laughs> with us. Amen. Thank God for her. She and her daughters I uh, praise the worship team and they just come to, I never know which way they gotta go. Sometimes they go to the old church, sometimes they modernize, and sometimes they, the Holy Ghost in her feet and she has to jump and stuff. And we're just excited about what God is doing. Amen. And then we have, um, I already talked about her a little bit, but Pastor Tanya Smith from uh, Gasso Love Ministries, and they are in Salisbury. And so they're here with us today, amen. And my, my minister, Colleen, I still claim her. I don't know who she belongs to right now, but she belongs to me forever, forever. So glad that she's here this morning. My daughter's here. I'm just a happy camper this morning, y'all. <laughs> Receive our offering and we're going to ask Mr. Uh, Jimmy if he will receive our offering this morning. And once we do that, we ask you to pray for our deacon Walter, who normally does part of what we're doing. Amen. He uh, had a heart attack. Um, what night, y'all? Let me see. Well, he came home from the hospital today. Amen. He had a heart attack Friday n night, I think it was. What was graduation? It was Friday night because we were at my grandbaby's um, graduation and didn't hear his stress, call of stress, but he did get his sister and she took him to the hospital and they immediately sent him to a uh, car court. He had a 100% blockage in one of his um, what's the, what is it? arteries. Thank you. Y'all have to, they have to help me remember stuff because he won't be trying to take my memory, but God, <laughs> but God. So he's doing okay. I, I don't know how people go in the hospital on a Friday and they let him with a heart attack and they let God. Amen. So he's coming home today. Amen. 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 We are so excited about that. Mr. Jimmy, did you want to say anything? Just, we're just glad to see everybody here this morning. It's just a blessing. And all the hearts come together and make one great stream. And then we got the river flowing. You know, this, this lady here, she caught a piece of river this morning. So that was nice to see. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We give God glory for everything He's doing. Everything He's doing. Give Him glory and He will pour presence out on us. Amen. That's right. We, we can have everything else. Just you just give him the glory. We can have everything else. Amen. Amen. <laughs>
Father, we raise up this offering to you, Father. Dear God, we know, Father, <clears throat> Father, we know that you give seed to the sower, dear God. So we thank you, Father, for everybody that has sold on today. Dear God, we thank you right now, dear God, for giving us something to sow, Father. Dear God, we thank you right now, God, for all that you've done and all that you are continuing to do, Father, for us, through us, to us. Dear God, we bless you on today, Father. Dear God, we ask all of these things in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In Jesus, holy name, amen. Y'all now, let me write it, y'all do now, get your plates out, your spoons and cups, and we're getting ready to eat the word, amen. We're so glad you guys have set our way. Our ministry is very different. We don't have a membership role where people come. And they uh, God sends them, uh, you know, however they get here. And they're here as long as God intends for them to be here. Um, when they, when He sends them on or moves them on, we hope that it's not premature. And we pray for them and we try to help them to go. Amen. So this young man has been in my life for a good while. Amen. Amen. He's been, and so I need your attention up here because we know that the enemy would like to send distractions, but everybody got to go to church. Amen. 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 And so we got a bunch of group home uh, people in here that understand what we going on. It's all right. Amen. 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 I need for him to feel comfortable in here. Amen. 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 Regardless to what is going on. So um, I'm going to come to the right here already up here. This is my son, y'all. Amen. And I'm telling you, I've been trying to get him for the longest. Get him here. He was going yonder and there and over there. I'm going to tell him to visit us. Okay, I'm telling you. But when, when he came, he got stuck. Amen. Amen. None other than, and I call him Pastor Carl Greer because that's what I see in him Amen. as a pastor. And so when he came to us, his, his ministry is Living Waters Ministry. Amen. So I said to him, Come, you know, sit with us, stay with us, because uh, we are training to reign. That's the Amen. ministry. We train to reign. And so he's he has come to sit under the ministry and to train to reign. And I said, those people that will be following you in your ministry, in your church, bring them with you so that they learn as you're learning. Amen. And when it's time for the church to blossom and bloom, and it's time for them to go out and do what what's called of them out there, then we will be we will help you and you'll be on the same page. Amen. So this is none other than Pastor Carl here from Living Waters Ministry. If you will stand on your feet and point your hand and hear the question. There's no need to stop praising God now. Come on, church. Come on, y'all. Come on, let's give him praise. Come on, let's give him praise. You ain't gonna stand on your feet. Let's give God all the praise. And he's worthy. 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 He's being here this morning. Thank you all for coming out to the house of God this morning. Amen. Um, the word that the Lord gave me, God's been working with me on this word all week long, and the enemy has been trying to block it, stop it, cause confusion, cause mess, and everything else. So I know this is a word for Amen. the house today. Amen. 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 Here this morning, and I'm thanking God 
are funny. Thank God for all the preachers and ministers in the house this morning. Look at this. Look at this. Look at God. I'm trying to tell you. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Give God praise. Thank the Lord for all of you that came up this morning. Uh, we give honor to God for you. Well, can I get all the pastors and ministers to just stand this morning? I want to recognize them. I ain't going to call you by name. I just want you to stand up this morning. So I know I'm in a good place. Look at all this, look at all this anointing in the house. Amen. Look at all this Holy Ghost in the house. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord have mercy. And the word Jesus said, when well, two or three are gathered together in my name, he said, what? He'd be in the midst. Amen. And I know he's in the midst this morning. Amen. I knew that before I got here, he was going to be in the midst. Amen. 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 We just give God praise this morning. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to a word of prayer. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we come this morning to say thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, God. We just give you praise for all that you've done, God, and all that you're going to do this day. Yes, God. Father, we honor you, we magnify and praise you. We give honor to Jesus, who is our Savior. God, we thank you, Lord. We, we just bless your name this morning. And Father, I just humble myself before you this morning, God, knowing that I can do nothing without you. God, I ask, Father, that you, Father, would take the lead this morning. God, you take control. This is your house, Lord. Father, we ask, Lord, by your spirit, oh God, that you lead and direct and guide, Lord, rule and super rule in this place, oh God. Father, we just, just give honor to you, Lord. And Father, we just ask, God, that you just have your way today, God. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. God, we ask you to move as you see fit, God. Move, Lord, according to your will, God. Father, bless us, God. Touch us, Lord. Strengthen us, Lord. Empower us, God, to do your will, Lord. Father, draw us closer unto you, God. Father, I say thank you this morning. We give you praise and glory. We ask you to bless our Deacon Walton. Father, I speak healing in his life right now in the name of Jesus, God. If you raise him up, that man affliction, Lord. Strengthen him, God. Um, a mighty man of valor, God. Strengthen him in power. But the enemy is defeated in his life. Satan cannot stop him from accomplishing the thing that you have called him to do. God, we speak healing right now in the name of Jesus. Right then. He said, You take it and put it on the shelf. And I didn't understand what that meant 
back then, but now I understand it plainly what it means. See, God always gives you something, but it ain't meant for you right now. Sometimes you gotta hold on to it. See, sometimes God wanna see that thing a little bit. Sometimes God wanna add something to it, and then He'll bring it out. Amen. So I want to thank you for my old time messages that I gave me years ago. Come on, come on, And uh, uh, God brought up in my spirit, man. I'm telling you, ever since Monday night, God brought that thing up in my spirit. He wouldn't let me rest with it. It just kept going on and on and on and on. I said, okay, God. So I know, I know what we gotta do. And. Uh, <coughs> How many of you love it when the Lord comes into the house? Amen. How many of you want to see God move in wherever you are? Amen. Okay. But the Lord gave me this message years ago, and I'm gonna bring it to you now. And it says that I tell you what, turn with me to Acts. We're gonna go to the book of Acts. I'll give you the, I'll give you the topic in a minute. Let's turn to the book of Acts. Uh, Acts the first chapter. Acts the first chapter, verses eleven through fifteen. You don't, you don't have to stand, but I'm going to read them right quick. Yeah. Yeah. Acts chapter yeah. 1, verses 11 yeah. through yeah. 15. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Just to give you a little bit of background, uh, this is the yeah. time when Jesus was preparing to ascend unto the Father, and he had made a promise that he was going to send uh, the comforter, amen? amen. Yeah. And uh, he had talked to him already about the Holy Ghost coming, and uh, he had told yeah. him, but anyway, after Jesus had ascended, the angel looked at Peter and the apostles, and he said, uh, <coughs> which also said, why, men of, why you men of Galilee, why stand here gazing into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. And they returned, <coughs> There to uh, Jerusalem at the Mount called Olivet, which was from Jerusalem a Sabbath day's journey. And when they were coming the up, when they were coming to the upper room, where were Peter, James, John, Andrew, Philip, Thomas, Bartholomew, and Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus, Simon the Lotus, uh, Judas the brother of James. These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women and Mary the mother of Jesus and with his brother. Okay. In those days, Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples and said, the number and names together were about 120. Amen. I'm going to go back to verse 14. It says, these all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women and, mother, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brother. And if I would use for a topic the Lord gave me years ago, God will meet you in a place called one accord. Come on, come on, come on. God will meet you in a place called one accord. Amen. Come on. Amen. What does it mean God. to be on one accord? We hear that term a lot. One accord. The church needs to be on one accord. The body of Christ needs to be on one accord. On. What does that term mean? What does it mean to be on one accord? Some people think that it means that. Everybody's supposed to come together and agree on all the different uh, spiritual terminologies and all the different spiritual things. No, that's not what it means. Some people think that we're supposed to never have a disagreement. We're never supposed to uh, have any difference of opinions. No, that's not what it means. What God was talking about, <coughs> as far as being one accord, uh, the Greek meaning means togetherness. Amen. And it means united in spirit. Amen. That is what God wants us to do. Amen? Amen. The Lord wants the body of Christ to be united in spirit. He wants us to be together with one mind and one heart. Amen? Right. Our right. heart should be on Jesus. On, our right. mind should be on Jesus. That's Amen? Right. That's why our whole focus should be when we come into the house of God. We need to learn how to enter into his courts. Hallelujah, right. Jesus. Right. With praise. Hallelujah. Right. Come on. <laughs> You know the verse. You know the verse. Come on, the praise and thanksgiving. Come on, come on. God bless you. The praise and thanksgiving. Come on. Amen. When we learn to do this, when we learn to come into the house of God and get our hearts and minds on Jesus, amen? Yes, yes. We learn to focus and take our minds off of everything else. Take our minds off of the mess for last week and what's going on tomorrow. But you think about, get your mind and your heart on Jesus. We come into this house to worship him, to praise him, to call upon his name. Yes. And when you find that, when you come on water car, God will move in your midst. Amen? Come on, that's the setting of the Holy Ghost. That's how the Holy Ghost wants to be. He wants you to come together with Jesus on your mind. And he will move in your midst. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Church should never be 
routine. Amen. Church Amen. should never be homegrown and so some. Okay? The house of God should never be boring. Come on. It should never be always the same old thing that it was last Sunday. On, it's the same old Come message on, that it was Pastor. a week ago. It's the same old thing that it was. Oh, that is not the way God, God wants his house to operate. God. Amen. God is a mighty God. He's yes, an awesome he God. Is. He's a powerful God. Yes. Let me tell you something. God don't do the same thing all the time. No, he don't. Come on. No, he don't. If you know what I, you know like I know, God don't do the same thing all the time. When you go in the house of God, when you go into a church, and it's the same thing over and over and over and over. There's something wrong in there. Okay? There's something wrong with that situation. God is an awesome God. The Spirit of God moves in so many different ways and so many different traditions. This Sunday, you might walk in there, God may want you to pray. And that might be all he wants you to do. He just might want you to pray. Come on. You go in there the next Sunday, God may want you to praise. That's what he always wants you to do. He wants you to just praise him. Come on. The next time you come in there, Amen. Amen. 
Amen. So when we pray and ask God, expect the Lord to move. I come in this house for expectancy. I come in this house waiting for God to move. I come in here waiting for God to do whatever it is he's going to do in this place. Amen. However he's going to do it. It may be through a song. It may be through a prayer. It may be through a word. It may be through a word. Oh, my God. 
God. Oh, this is for you. My God. Let me, let me get a high five. Can I get a high five? Come on, give me this. Come on, give me this. Come on, this. this is for you. Come on, sis. This is for high you. High five. Come on. Come on. Can I get a high five? This is for you. Woo! This is for you. Come on. Woo! 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 Yes, yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. in you. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Pass that on. Amen. Amen. So Amen. Get back to your perspective places. Okay. You remember that God wants you on one accord. One Amen. accord. One one accord. accord. And he's going to bless you. Yes, he will. Down. You keep that down in your spirit. Wherever you are, wherever you go back to, God wants us on one accord. I don't one care if you got two, three, four, five, twenty, thirty, fifty, a hundred. One accord. One accord. One accord. God wants you on one accord. And you will see him move in your midst. Right. Yes, God, he will. Let's look at some of the examples. Uh, X, X, I know y'all standing up and no one might want to sit down. Let's go to Acts 2, 8 through 9. 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 Acts 2, 8 Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. 39, I'm sorry, I said 36, 39, 39. Okay, start with verse 39. This is when Peter had talked to the men about, you know, receiving the baptism, getting saved, receiving Jesus as Lord and Savior, and then they received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. He said, For this is the promise unto you and your children, uh, to them that are far off, even as many as call upon. As many as the Lord God shall call. And with many other words did he testify and exalt, saying, Save yourself from this upward generation. And they that gladly received his word were baptized, and the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Amen? Amen. Not three souls, not 30 souls, about 3,000. Thousand souls. Oh, Amen. Right. When you come on one accord, come on. this is what will happen. Come when on. you come on one accord, the Spirit of God will move in your midst. Then when uh -huh. you come on one accord, when everybody gets the same heart and the same come mind, on. get your mind focused on Jesus. Let go of all that other junk and just concentrate on God. Concentrate oh, on Jesus. The Lord will move in your midst. Come on. God come is on. the same soul. Do you know how many souls are in your midst? Yet unsaved in this world. Oh, my God, my God, my God, my God. Three billion people that don't know Jesus. And you tell me there ain't no work out of the vineyard to do. You tell me there ain't no work to do. He said the harvest, hallelujah, was white. Come on. But the laborers are few. What's wrong with the laborers? Yeah. What's wrong with the lady? Yeah. We done got complacent. Yeah. We done got lazy. No we done got slack. Come on. Come God on. don't want us that way. He wants us to be juvenile. He wants yeah. us to be powerful. He yes. wants us to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. He wants us to do his work. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. 3,000 souls were saved that day. And then it said they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship. And breaking the bread and in prayer. Now you can't serve God without praying. So okay. You cannot serve the Lord God. You can't serve Jesus without praying. Amen. So okay. You gotta talk to the master sometimes and let him talk to you. Yeah. Prayer is a two-way street. It ain't just one way. You gotta uh -huh. talk to God. That's the end of it. Oh no, 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 no. God has to reply to that. Amen. That's right. And that's right. That's right. And get still and get quiet. Yeah. And talk to you. That's Amen. right.
Come on here. Yeah. Don't tell us what to do, but you want to add something to it? You want to turn to it? to it? in the house, you come on. You in the house, come on. That ain't the way God yeah. said to do it. Come on. God. That ain't the way God said to do it. Oh, really? God is come clear. On. God is clear in his instructions. Come on here. Yeah. If he said take two steps you better and take turn two. to the right, you're going to take two steps and turn to the right. That's it. That's God it. God said go to the left. You better go to the go left. Go to the left. So whatever it is he tells you to do, do, do it. the way God say do it. Do it. Other than that, you're going to make a mess. Yes, you yes. You're going to make a mess now. But there's no need mm. because his instructions are clear. They're Amen. Clear. His instructions yeah. are clear and they're right. God ain't going to tell you nothing wrong to do. So, no, he ain't going to tell you nothing wrong to no, do. No, he won't. Oh, have mercy. Well, Lord, I don't understand it. He didn't ask you to understand it. He just told you to do it. Just do it. Well, Lord, I can't figure it out. He didn't tell you to figure it out. He just told you to do it. Just do it. Lord, have mercy. One of the best commercials I ever seen on TV. Come on now. Was Nike. Nike. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do Lord, it. have mercy. <laughs> we can learn how to just do what God That's tells it. us to do. Amen. That's it. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. My he didn't tell you to add nothing to it. He didn't tell you to complicate it. He just, just do it. Woo! Just Woo! Do it. Yes. Lord, yes. 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 Lord, have mercy. God. Just do it. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they can they continue to stand fastly. Amen. With prayer. Uh, breaking the bread. It says, Fear came upon every soul. It said that signs and wonders were done by the apostles. It said uh -huh. they believed. All they that believed were together and all things common. They went so far. They sold their possessions and goods and parted much of men and every man had need. They and they continued daily with one accord uh -huh. in the temple. They was in the house. Mm. Amen. Mm. They was in the house. Mm. Daily. We can't hardly get people to come to church on Sunday. Come on, here, talk. talk they it. said they was in the temple daily. Uh -huh. That meant every day. Uh -huh. They didn't miss a day. Uh -huh. They didn't get folks to come to church on Sunday morning. Let's talk about Wednesday night for, for Bible study and whatever else. And don't have nothing on Fridays. Lord, have all the oh, oh, church two times this week. That's just too much to do. Oh, I In Jesus' name. In Jesus. 
Yes, Wasn't the man at the beautiful gate? Wasn't he lame? Yes, he was. He never walked. Yes, he was. But because, Lord have mercy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, Jesus. Come on. Come on. Ah. Come on. Oh, you are. Silver and gold. Have I none? Have I none? Mm. Right. But such as I have. <laughs> Oh my God, what do you have? What do you have? What's in your possession? What has God given you? What do you have? Come on. He gave you. Come on. He gave you his spirit. He gave you all your love. Oh my God. Will you let him operate? Will you let him move? Will you let him move? Will you let him do what God has commanded him to do? Through you. My through the vessel that God has called, God has chosen, He's anointed and appointed. Will you let Him do it through you? My God, my God. Wow. Lord, my name ain't the pastor. He didn't say he had to be the pastor. Lord, my name ain't the apostle. He didn't say he had to be the apostle. My name ain't the bishop. He didn't say he had to be the bishop. He said all you needed to be. Willing vessel. Willing vessel. My God. It's just a willing vessel. A willing vessel. Don't take that turn. Don't never take that turn. Don't ever take that turn of life. God is looking for somebody. Gotta really let him work through them. Amen. Yes. God is looking for somebody. Oh, yes, Gotta yes, let him yes, use Lord. them. He's yes. looking for somebody. Gotta yes. say yes to his will. Yes, 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 Lord. 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 Yes, Lord have mercy. This is where they praise God. Hallelujah. See, when you come on one accord, you can't help but to praise Him. When you come on one accord, you can't help but to praise Him. Yes, Lord. Uh, That's right. That's right. And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, thou art God, which has made heaven and earth and the sea and all them that is, is in them. See, they didn't mind giving God praise because they right. knew who he was. Amen. That's it. When you know who he is, when you Ooh, know God, when you know who he is, why would you mind praise? Look, look at all he's doing for you. Look, look at all he's doing for you. 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 Look You got blessings that you don't even know the about. You got ways to manage that you don't even know about. God has got things to preserve for you and they're yours and you're going to get them. My God. The more you are obedient to God, the more he's going to pour out to you. Yeah. in your home. He wants you to have that husband and wife that don't act right. He wants you to have that husband and wife that don't act right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. It's the enemy that wants them to cut up and act That's right. It. Amen. My God. It's the devil that don't want them to act right. Woo. But God wants them to act right. He wants your life yes, blessed. Amen. Yes, and if you obey him, you will be blessed. That's it. Obedience. That's all God got for you. He ain't got nothing but good for you. That's it. God ain't got nothing but good oh, for you. Read your word. Read it. Well, anything God got bad That's for you, it. show it to me in there. That's it. God ain't got nothing good for you. Mm -hmm. That's all he got. That's all uh -uh. he got. That's all he got. And we don't want to praise him. We don't want to come oh, in on come that. Come on, come on, come on. We don't want to give God his just due. Ooh. I don't know about you, but I'm going to get mine. I'm going to get mine. I'm going to get mine. Hallelujah. That's it. But I'm going to get mine. That's it. Hallelujah. I'm going to get mine. Hallelujah. 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 Jimmy, he's a special man. Yes, he is. He's a special man. Mm -hmm. 
man. I'm gonna tell you why it's special. Now it ain't, it ain't, it ain't that he's better than nobody else, but it's the fact that he's willing to do just a little bit more than the average person to do. Come on, come on. And I'm gonna show you what that is. Now, Acts, uh, what did I say, five, oh, wait, wait. 15, excuse me, 15 and 25. 15 and 25, okay. And it says, it seemed good unto us being assembled with one accord mm -hmm. to send chosen men unto you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul. Mm -hmm. They sent out, raised up rather, they sent out missionaries. Mm -hmm. okay? When you come on one accord, mm -hmm. the Spirit of God is moving. God ain't moving for nothing. Come on, come on, come you on. You got to understand this. When the Spirit of God is moving, God has a mission. Yes. Okay, yes. for you to do. Yes. Amen. Yes. It ain't just to come to church on Sunday and sit down and say hallelujah and shout a little bit and go home and eat chicken. That is not what God got for you to do. Oh, God. Amen. When God fills you with His Spirit, when you come on one accord and God starts giving you instruction, it's uh -huh. time for you to move out move. and do the things that God has called for you to do. Yes, and one of the things that God has called for the body of Christ to do is to be missionary. Yes, yes. Now, not everybody can feel that role, but God got special people that will do it and know how to do it. He will equip them to do it. That's why I said Brother Jim is yes. special. See, he has that God has blessed him, God has gifted him, God has anointed him to do yes. this. Amen. Yes. You don't want to go. God will use him to go out into the to the to the jungles and to, to the places where the little huts and the dirt floors. Somebody gotta reach those people. Amen. 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 I've seen them. I've seen when I was in the military. I've seen the dirt floors. I've seen the little huts, the little neighbor huts. I've seen the villages. I've seen them. And I'm telling you, they need Jesus. Amen. Yes. They need Jesus. Yes. And God has to send somebody yes. to reach them. Amen. Thank you, God. And I, I praise, God. praise God. I praise God, God. for Brother Jimmy God. and his wife. Yes. That ye may with one mind and when one with one mouth glorify God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. With one mind and one mouth glorify God. Amen. 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 Even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. We come together and learn to open our mouths uh -huh. and give God praise. Uh -huh. Amen. I mean, really praise him from our hearts. Amen. Come on. When we come together with one mind, the yes. mind of Christ, to really concentrate on Jesus. Amen. Yeah, and God will, God, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. The Holy Spirit, I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit will move. The Holy Spirit will move. He will move. He, will he wants move. to move. He wants to move. Yes. God wants to show you who he is. He wants to yes. show you his strength, that he is strong and mighty in the midst of his people. Come on. That's it. What in the name of the world we can sit up here and praise a God for it? He ain't doing nothing. I ain't serving no God like that. That's what happened back in the Old Testament. They kept serving them false gods and bells and all them things, statues and everything else, and they wasn't doing nothing. Amen. Somebody better go ask Elijah. Because when them boys were trying to pray to Baal, and, 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 and Elijah got to picking at him. He said, pray, maybe he sleeps somewhere. So maybe he on a journey somewhere. But when he called on the name of the truly living God, Ooh, God said, no, for him. He had mercy there for sacrifice. Tell me God didn't move in the midst of his people. And 
Israel looked up and said, let God be God. Amen. They knew who God was after that. Amen. They knew who God was after that. Amen. Amen. God will meet you in a place called one accord. When we learn as the body of Christ to just come together and just let God have his way. Come on and praise him. Come on and lift up his name. Come on and lift up his name. Mm-hmm. Would your heart 
Thank you. Jesus, have your way. Thank you, Lord. 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 Lord, 
God, we thank you, Lord. We give you honor. We give you praise. We give you glory, God. Let a mind come right, God. Let a mind be right again, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. She know you, God, but she don't want to know you, God. But let a mind come right again, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, we thank you. We love you. We count it done in the mighty name of Jesus. We count it done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.
Utah Pharmacy has done a lot to help out with the, the school. Right now, we're, our census is very low, but God always knows what I can handle. Amen. Amen. And with all that's been going on in my body, uh, I couldn't have handled really no more than I had. But Pastor Christine has earned her master's degree. Ooh, just like to say that that was a, a, a beautiful word, a rich word. I couldn't sit down. I was all over the place. Oh my God, God bless my soul so much with that word because it's truly, truly, truly. And I teach that in my church. I try to teach them about praise. Praise is so important to God because when we begin to praise God and we begin to come on one accord, things begin to happen. Things begin to shine. Like I tell them, there are angels in heaven they cry holy, holy, holy all day long. But when we begin to praise God out of our mouth, there is a distinct sound that goes up into heaven. And God will stop and pay attention. And I try to get them out. Oh, my God, it just blessed me so much of that message on being on one accord. Because I constantly teach how we all need to come in with a praise in your heart. Don't wait till you get to church. But the praise needs to already be in there. All week long, you need a praise in your heart. Amen. So you truly bless me with that word. Amen. Bless God. Because when I went through this bout with the chemotherapy, um, initially, is when Dr. Ron came in and, and I, he just took over. And did. But this time, I've got preachers. Hallelujah! Because <laughs> <laughs> I got preachers. And, and because this is training to rain, they would normally be preaching anyway. 
there's a Sunday that I preach, but um, the, the, the part of this ministry is training to reign. Amen. And that's, that's not just pastors, but it's all of us. We're all training to reign. Yes. Yes. So at this time, I'm going to turn it back into the hands of the speaker of the hour. And Amen. 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 And we'll see you Thursday. Keep praying for Dr. Dr. Maddie. But also keep praying for Deacon. Okay. Oh, and he will recover it all. Amen, 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 amen. Everybody in the house feel blessed today. Amen. 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 Sound like God and moon up in here, man. Yeah. All right. Amen. Amen. Say what now? Oh God. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> amen. And that's what we love for him to do. Amen. Right. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be in no dead church. That's right. I don't see too many of them. I want to be where the Spirit of God is alive and moving. Amen. Right. All right. All right. Amen. Thank God for Jesus. Lord have mercy. Your situation is taken care of. Don't even worry about it. Your situation is taken care of. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about the church. The best time. Your situation is taken care of. Your situation is taken care of. You here. You your job. You your job. I'm speaking, I'm speaking over God's people, amen. amen. If you're gonna speak something over them, speak life, speak amen. Life. Speak the glory, yes. speak, speak the blessings of the Lord, amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. amen. Yes. Now, I didn't forget y'all in the back. You bless. I see brother back there just praying. Just praying. Come here, man. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm gonna do this before we go. Come here. Let me switch for Before we go. Come here. I saw him standing over here, but I saw him back there, man. He was just going there. And I said, Lord, look at him. I said, look at him back there. Lord have mercy. I met this man here the other day, uh, last time y'all came. And I am so glad to meet you. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. I just want to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus. God, I just pray right now, God, that every need is met, God. Father, I ask you to bless him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. God, wherever his path goes, God, I ask you to lead him and guide him by your spirit, God. Father, bless him, God. Let him know that thou art, God. I know he knows it, God, but let him really know it in the name of Jesus. God, I say thank you right now. God, bless him, Father. Strengthen him, Lord. God, every condition, every every situation in his life, turn it around for your good. I believe it and stand on it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, sir. Thank you for coming. God bless you. We're glad to have you. Amen. 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 And if all hearts and minds are clear, we'll stand and dismiss. And, and I'm telling you, all the preachers in the house, thank you all for coming. I am so glad. I, I feel I, it, it's a difference when it's a hard pull to preach. But when you're in the atmosphere where the Holy Spirit is, it's easy. I'm trying to tell you, it's easy. Amen. Amen. I had an easy day today. God knows I had an easy day. I've seen them hard days, but I had an easy day today. I, I'm waiting on you. What's here? I'm waiting on you to preach. I'm waiting on you. Yes, man. I'm waiting on you. <laughs> There's something about, I'm trying to tell you now. So I'm, yeah, I, I ain't gonna mess with that. You know, I'm waiting on you to preach. God bless. Thank all y'all for coming. I enjoy each and every one of you. God bless you all. Uh, may the Lord bless you in your ministries and your past wherever you go. I pray that uh, the blessing of the Lord uh, continue to be upon you. Don't worry, but believe. Amen. Amen. Don't worry, but believe. believe. Amen. Uh, Jesus spoke only believe. Always believe. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you right now, God. We prepare to depart this place, but never from your presence. Yes, Whew, God. Mm, I just yes. can't get enough. Oh. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Honorable <laughs> God.